Melanie Fuller alongside Majanique Anderson here on the Solano College Sports Network for another episode of It's More Than Just Sports. Two weeks ago we were able to interview some of the alumni art students here at Solano College and see the work that they created and talk about their experiences here in the art program. Now let's cut to some of those interviews and meet the artist and see their artwork. Hi, I'm Melanie Fuller with the Solano College Sports Network, joined with Erman Arcibal, who is an alumna here in the Solano College Art Alumni Show. So, Erman, tell me a little bit about your experience here at Solano and how you got started in the art program. Well, um, it was, I, I had kind of a backwards experience because uh, I, I went to school, uh, to college out of high school, and I got my bachelor's degree in biology, oh, wow. and um, I didn't quite want to do anything with that. I actually almost tried to change majors while I was in school, and uh, by the time they started considering me, I could have graduated already. So I just finished biology, uh, came to Solano. I originally grew up in Vallejo, so I came back um, and just took a, as many art classes as I could here, um, and actually built up a portfolio and applied to grad schools, got into graduate school at UC Davis, and uh, and uh, the professors here really inspired me and really pushed me and, and they kind of told me I was ready and kind of s gently nudged me out the door and said you're ready to get out of here and do something else. So. so biology and art are on two different spectrums. So what made you change your major? What inspired you to become an artist and really pursue that career instead? Well I had always uh, drawn a lot um, you know in high school like all my textbooks were covered with doodles <laughs> probably couldn't really sell them back when you had to sell textbooks I don't know if people still have to buy textbooks anymore uh, physical ones mm -hmm. but um, one of my college professors at my in my ba uh, bachelor's degree program he actually said well um, art and biology are very visual yeah and when I was uh, still in biology that's how I would remember everything is I would draw and redraw and redraw diagrams and and uh, and uh, like cycles things that you had to remember so uh, you know it, it actually that kind of sparked everything it was like and now um, now a lot of what I do is actually very based in like science or pseudoscience or, or mm -hmm. taking biological processes and um, making art out of it so yeah. and you said a lot of your teachers pushed you what else added to your experience here a lot of people today have talked about the community the art community here at Solano was that really inspirational to you as well uh, definitely uh, I, I definitely started hanging out with people that were also interested in the arts um, a lot of the field trips uh, going to museums and other places uh, as part of class that was fun and getting to know people through that uh, Mark Lancet has a wood fire ceramics class where the the uh, wood fire kiln is going like all week and and people can just come in and hang out and make stuff uh, or uh, just just be by the warmth of the kiln <laughs> which is kind of cool it's kind of like camping without going anywhere um, and uh, yeah there I just met a lot of cool people here and, and it was it's good to see a lot of them here back at the alumni show some people that I actually took classes with that went on to do more stuff and continue to do more art stuff on their own. And what would you tell any art student trying to pursue their career in art here at Solano? Take all the classes you can uh, because it'll be more expensive if you try to do it somewhere else later. Um, take advantage of your professors. They're very knowledgeable and a, a lot of them have really amazing art careers and, and travel all over the world showing their own art and some even teaching art abroad in other places. Um, so 
you know, take as many as you can, go to all the museums you can in the area. We're lucky in the San Francisco Bay Area, we have a lot of museums here. Some places don't have so many. Um, and then when you're ready to go to school, check out all the schools, because some of the programs are really different. Uh, some of them really focus on uh, getting you to know particular things, art history if you're interested, or pati particular processes. Mm -hmm. Whereas others will just tell you to go make stuff. Whatever it is you, you want to make, however whatever you're passionate about making, go and make it. So, um, there, uh, you know, in addition to there being lots of museums and galleries in the area, there are lots of different kinds of art programs as well. Yeah. Well, thank you and congratulations here again. Here with Hedy DeSulio, here alumni here at Solano College Arts Program. So, Hedy, when did you attend Solano College? I actually started in 1982, <laughs> so probably before you were born. <laughs> Long before you were born. Um, I went to the photography program and I came here on campus for something totally different, uh, I think in 81, and in the lunchroom, this woman approached me and just out of the blue, she said, would you like to see the photo department? And I said, how did you know? Because I went through a photography apprenticeship as uh, starting at age 15 in Germany. So I've been a photographer pretty much all my life. But in between, um, I married, had a family, and was still working pretty much with my knowledge in German, especially, you know, when it came to cameras, like, I did not know the English um, terminology for like an f-stop or shutter, all those words, there is no dictionary, or may, now you would Google it, but <laughs> at that time there was no dictionary, so my brain was photographing with the words in German. And so anyway, this woman, she was the lab manager at uh, the time that I met in the lunchroom and she took me to the photo department and she said, well, you know, I'm recruiting for students for the photo department. Uh, are you interested? And, and said, well, maybe this is my chance to brush up, you know, also equipment. My knowledge of equipment was totally outdated. And so I enrolled in the beginning class, and then over the years in all the classes they offered, and at times I would TA, um, and so yeah, I have, have been on this campus for a long time. <laughs> wow, your story is extraordinary. So what is your favorite thing about attending Solano College? Um, I think the support, you know, from faculty and, um, and the campus in general, like I did some individual projects, um, like I produced a book two, three years ago, but there were no more classes that I could enroll or repeat, and so the dean here, uh, gave me special permission to enroll in the class so I could do this, this book. And um, so um, I have felt the support through the whole, through the whole time here. And also uh, having an English as a second language, uh, there were also some instructors made exceptions. There was one English teacher, <laughs> she, she said, you have mastered, um, I forget what the terminology was, but it was something, a mistake in English in sentence structure because, uh, you know, in German sentences usually are reversed and she kind of um, said it 
in a very diplomatic way that I really have messed up this part of, <laughs> uh, of whatever I had to write. But um, in general, it has been a really good experience. And publishing a book is a huge accomplishment, so congratulations, well, by the way. Um, so what is your book titled? Um, I live in Benicia, and <coughs> I had my uh, own photography business uh, over the years. And part of the work I did was photographing for other artists. Uh, and this was in the days when you shot slides of uh, artwork that the artists would send to galleries. Like I photographed for Mark Lancet from the uh, uh, sculpture department for many years. And so Benicia has a lot of artists and you know I would go to their studios to photograph their work but never really explored their studios. And so I decided to, um, to do a book on, so it's called uh, Why Make Art? So the concept was to do a portrait of the art, an environmental portrait of the artist with artwork in the background and their studio. And then uh, in return, they had to write um, a paragraph why they make art because um, most of the people that I photographed for, you know, had daytime jobs or nighttime jobs and then um, the rest of the time when they could have been fishing or playing golf or whatever, they went to their studio and painted or sculpted and and I always saw the sacrifice and also the struggle because <coughs> so like painters for example they would say gosh I've been struggling with this piece for weeks now and I don't know how I can rescue it and and so to see that and also because I photographed for quite a few people for many years to see transitions, how they went from one uh, body of work to the next one. And so um, that's why I was interested in their explanation why they make art. And some of, so I photographed 25 artists in the book and um, and some of them, some of uh, what they had to say, why they make art, they were real eye-openers that I never would have expected them, you know, to say that. And the way the book is structured is, so their portrait is on one side with a statement on the other, and then on the opposite page, a piece of their artwork. And, um, when the book came out, uh, there was a show at Arts Benicia of those artists with the portraits and with their statements and also with pieces of their work. So it was a very satisfying project and um, when the dean saw the book, he said, congratulations. <laughs> so even though he made an exception, you know, for me to be in a class that I shouldn't have been in. <laughs> well, congratulations from the Solano College Sports Network. And so what advice would you have to give to a student who wants to pursue a career in the arts department? Work hard and uh, do what you what you have um, kind of an organic feeling for, you know, what, what you love and dedicate yourself to it. So that's pretty. And I've seen some amazing young people in the photography department that when they first started and then the transition and how they developed. So. Yeah. So Ramona, tell me a little bit about your experience here at Solano and why you chose to join the art program. Well, 
I always wanted to do art as a kid, but was kind of discouraged. So I got to a point in my life where I said, I'm just going to do it. So I signed up for a class, and I was late uh, signing up, so there was really only life drawing left. Mm -hmm. And that's not really what you start out with. And uh, I got to the class, and I said, I don't know, but I'm just going to do it. And it turned out to be the best experience. Just uh, the instructors here are great. Mm -hmm. um, many of them have studied and taught at the Bay Area art colleges. So really, right here at Solano, you're getting a Bay Area art education for a community college price. And what else, other than the price and the education experience, added to your experience here at Solano? Well, people in the classroom push you along. You know, you're learning from each other. Mm -hmm. Your standards, your work level, and how good you are at art goes up based on the people around you. So you hang out with uh, people who are interested in the same things you are, and you get better. And after finishing here at Solano, where did you pursue the rest of your art career? Well, right now I'm uh, with a group called the Art Divas, and we are a group of seven women who uh, get together once a month and show our work together, and we end up doing shows uh, in, the, in the Bay Area, the Sacramento area. And I also joined the Lawler House Gallery over mm -hmm. in Sassoon. So there's opportunities locally and in the Bay Area to show your work, and that's what we've been doing. And what has been your best memory here as a student? Hmm. I think a lot of the field trips mm -hmm. because you, the more you're exposed to art, the more you're exposed to different kind of art, uh, you incorporate that into your own, whether you, whether you think you are consciously or not, it, it gets in there. Mm -hmm. And what would you tell to any art student will, wishing to pursue their career here at Solano? Don't be afraid, don't wait, just get in there and and mm -hmm. do it. And with every class you take, it's the same thing. You get out of it what you put into it. So if you want to, you know, really learn how to draw well or paint well or do printmaking well here, put the time in. Well, thank you so much again, Ramona, and congratulations for being in the art show today. John Loy. John, when did you attend Solano College and what did you do here? Uh, I first started uh, taking classes in uh, around 2003 with Mark Lancet in the uh, ceramics department and uh, the class I took was uh, uh, wood fire. We uh, learned how to fire the Onagama kiln here. Mm -hmm. Yep. And what would you say was your favorite memory about Solano College? Uh, my favorite memory um, Gee, there's a lot of memories. Um, I, I would have to say maybe not a memory, but my favorite thing now is that I volunteer in the ceramics department, and uh, I really enjoy introducing uh, new students to the uh, clay and all that it has to offer. So you just told me your favorite thing was the ceramics department. So what would you say to a Solano student who wants to pursue a career in the arts? Uh, Solano Community College has a great um, uh, background, a great basis. And if you look around at all, all the work, you can see that it's, the caliber is quite high. And if you're looking to go on to a four-year college to get your degree, which is what I did, uh, it's just a, a great um, uh, ba base for going on to a four-year school. And I can tell by looking at all the artwork, so as you're doing an amazing job. Thank you, John Loy, for Hi, joining I'm Melanie me. Fuller with the Solano College Sports Network here with Richard Zerga, who is an alumni in the Alumni Art Show here at Solano. So, Richard, tell me a little bit about your experience here and how you got started in the arts program. Um, actually, the way I got started was I injured myself at work, and uh, I figured it was a good time to go back to school, and I decided to get my degree in graphic design and illustration, and my time here was fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, met a lot of great people I still stay in contact with, um, even the, uh, the, the teachers here, I still stay in contact with them, email, they come by here, and I come by and visit, and they put up with my ramblings, so it's pretty <laughs> good stuff. It's a good school.
So other than the teachers and all the people that you've made connections with here, what else added to the experience here? I would say the freedom. I'm not a, I'm more of a, a traditional artist. Mm -hmm. um, I don't do a lot of computer work. My daughter and I own our own company. She does all the, the computer work and everything. And they were nice because they were accommodating and they realized, you know, the old guy isn't going to be as fast in Photoshop mm -hmm. and in, um, in, um, What's the other software? Um, see? <laughs> <laughs> like Adobe, stuff like that? Yeah, any of that. It's, my daughter does it all for the business. Mm -hmm. um, I do a little bit. But um, they were great. They were very encouraging. Um, they uh, showed us a lot of different techniques that we were able to use. And in fact, I still incorporate um, a lot of the stuff that I learned. And um, one of the things uh, I learned that I have passed on to a lot of people I've worked with um, is a study in the flow of artwork that I learned in Mr. Mark Pandone's class. And um, I've been able to utilize that and it's made a big difference in a lot of the artwork that I do. Mm -hmm. So even to this day, I still utilize a lot of the stuff that I learned here. And speaking of your business with your daughter, tell me a little bit more about that. What do you guys do? Um, we are independent comic book creators and oh, we're right. freelance artists, mm. yeah. So we do a lot of the independent stuff. Ours is horror and dark comedy. And uh, we also do freelance, so we've re we freelanced for a gentleman named Chuck Jarman and for Mario Kyoto, mm -hmm. who have done work for Lucas Films and Disneyland, um, Sam Raimi, Tom Savini, Rob Zombie. Um, so we've done we've done quite a bit. That's amazing. And then, so what was your best memory here? And what would you tell a student who wants to pursue a career in art at Solano? Oh my goodness. Um, <laughs> If you're looking to p p pursue a career or schooling here at Solano, I think it's a great idea. Yeah. Everybody here is very encouraging, um, very knowledgeable, um, and they want you to grow at your own pace, which was, which was great mm -hmm. because it's been a long time since I've been in school leading up yeah. to this, a long time. Um, but I would say for myself, the most memorable has to go back again to Mr. Pandone's class, and that was realizing that there is a, a particular flow to the artwork mm -hmm. um, and uh, breaking down and analyzing all the traditional artwork and all the old school artwork going back centuries and being able to use that, utilize that today in my artwork and uh, passing it on to my daughter whose artwork has also improved because of the courses that I took. Um, but I would say those are probably the two. Well, thank you so much again, and congratulations and for being in the Art Tree Show. Trin, an alumni here at Solano College. So, Tree, when did you come to Solano College, and what did you do while attending here? Uh, I came here uh, in early 2000, mm -hmm. and I was in working in the financial services, uh, but uh, I came to take some ceramic classes here. Mm -hmm. in the early 2000s. And how did you like those ceramic classes? Oh, absolutely marvelous. We have tremendous faculty here. We have so many talented professors and uh, various facilities here. Uh, one of the very special things we have is the wood kiln. Mm -hmm. And uh, that actually draw me into the ceramic. So what was your favorite memory about attending Solano College? Actually, honestly, it's faculty. The, 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 the professors are just marvelous people, very talented. And uh, we have uh, such a rich, rich uh, tradition here, uh, especially ceramic. So. And I can tell your professors here are really amazing. So what is your favorite memory here? Actually, um, it's such a good community. And especially when we we do ceramic uh, as, um, wood kiln, wood fire, especially we have to work together, and a lot of supportive from professor, from other student, from other you know colleagues. That was wonderful. And I've been hearing a lot about wood fire. Mm -hmm. So what exactly is that? Well, you know, traditionally um, the easy way is you fire the work using electric kiln or gas kiln. Uh, it, it, it does take some work too, but, but, but uh, wood kiln take 
uh, the different uh, you have to f wood uh, use wood as a uh, fuel and it could take up to seven days uh, to fire around the clock for seven days to achieve the, the kind of uh, uh, texture and color that you cannot get out the traditional firing techniques. Wow, where can I get some? I want some. Right here, <laughs> right here. I think every I think every fall semester there is a class offer for wood fire ceramic. So, what would you say? What advice would you give to an art student who wants who to a student at Solano College who wants to pursue a career in the arts? I think you have to jump in and uh, of course have to take some classes and find out what you like, find out what touched you and, 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 and you go from there because I know that we have tremendous professors here. We have uh, from, from the faculty that I'm familiar with in the ceramic uh, department to art uh, history teacher, they're all wonderful. So Carol, tell me a little bit about your experience on starting out as an art student at Solano. So I started here about 20 years ago when my daughter was little. I took a watercolor class. I really, I was a nurse, so I had like no experience in art except for appreciating it. So after I took the watercolor class, I like realized, well, I don't really know how to draw. So I took a drawing class and then I wanted to learn about color. So I took a color class and that led to painting and then and figure drawing and a whole bunch of other classes and then I had to stop and take some time off and um, went to work to make some money and <laughs> then <laughs> then came back to came back about in 2008 and actually be, be started doing art full-time was lucky to be able to do that well how has your experience as a nurse transitioned to your experience as being an artist because those are two completely separate fields yeah, so I was really into helping people. In fact, you know, when I did leave, I was a special ed teacher, so I'd done a lot of helping and giving, and this is like just self-absorption and creative, like before, yeah. nothing creative, like passing out pills, taking care of patients, not really creative, so this was really a great opportunity. Arts, like, I don't know, it's, it's like finding my passion at age and meditating older. And you know, mm -hmm. finally, something yeah. that I really love to do, so. And what was your best experience here as a student? Well, I think it was when I took my first printmaking class in 2008 with Jean Lorenz, and she was a brand new teacher, and every day she would bring, she would bake bread, so she'd have a bread machine going and it kind of masks the smell of the ink mm -hmm. and then she'd also make a big salad and the people so everybody would um, eat after the class was over and it was sort of like a really community feeling and that was what she was really trying to establish in the room was a, a printmaking community so um, she doesn't do that anymore I think the health codes aren't really yeah. good for that so but that was um, very memorable so and what would you tell to any art student pursuing a career here at Solano? I'd say it's really a great place to learn art. So they have a lot of facilities, as, especially since they um, redid things. They have computers for graphic arts. They have this great print room. They have great ceramics. Every, any kind of art that you're interested in, it's available here. And it's small. The classes are small. The teachers know you. They work with you. Good critiques. And the students are great. Teachers are great, so. Well, thank you and congratulations again, Carol. And I'm here with former student of Solano College, Sonia Magnelli. Sonia, when did you attend Solano College and what did you do while attending here? I attended Solano between 2002 and 2005 and I explored various majors while I was here. I kind of didn't know what I wanted to do with my life yet. And um, I got my general education out of the way as well. I, got, I completed my AGETSI for transfer and uh, transferred in 2006 to UC Berkeley. Wow, UC Berkeley is a great school. So what was your favorite memory here at Solano College? Way too many to name, but um, I just, I had a great time here. And uh, I, there was a really great sense of community with my fellow students and the instructors here are outstanding. So what was your favorite thing about this program? Um, I think 
One of my favorite parts about the program was that after I transferred, I found out that uh, Solano offers classes and education that other schools do not. So I really enjoyed that some of the courses I took here, none of the other students had that information under their belt when I transferred. Um, also, I had a ton of fun while I was here. You know, um, there were a lot of events going on while I was a student here, and I got to know a lot of people and make a lot of friends too. So what, what advice do you have to give to a Solano student who is, wants to pursue, uh, pursue the arts? Um, I would say uh, take your time and um, make sure that you take advantage of everything that Solano has to offer before you transfer because um, it's a lot cheaper than when, once you transfer and it saves you a lot of money. But also the instructors here are here to instruct you and to teach you whereas when you transfer to another university, you know, they have a lot of things going on. So while you're here, you can get that real personal attention that you need, and I think that's really important. Well, you make me want to join the <laughs> arts program here at Solano I'm College. Fuller with the Solano College Sports Network here with alumni Susan D. Haven, who is in the Alumni Arts Show here at Solano. So Susan, tell me about your experience here at Solano. When did you attend and what program were you in? Okay, so I started in 2003 and I started taking art classes. And the minute I took a printmaking cl class with Kate DeLoss, I knew that I was going to be a printmaker. <laughs> yeah. So I stayed here about two years and then I went on to Sonoma State. Mm -hmm. And then I got my printmaking degree at uh, Sonoma State. And um, I think it was 2008 I graduated. And now, in 2017, I'm coming back, mm -hmm. <laughs> taking more classes <laughs> to upgrade my skills. So. so what was it about printmaking that made you so inspired and really wanted to pursue it as a career? Well, I've done uh, drawing and painting, but this was more um, hands-on. I could use the press, and it was more instant gratification, because yeah. paintings take a long time, and drawings take a long time. <laughs> and this one, yeah, I could just roll out different things and it was really fun. So, and, and using all the different colors and stuff. So. And what inspired you to transfer to Sonoma State? Because I wanted to get a degree in art. So, and to go on to be an artist, a professional artist. So, and that's what I've been doing. I've been, sh I just had a show in Benicia and uh, so I, you know, I enter different shows and have you know, gallery shows, and so I'm a professional artist. So. so compared from your experience at Sonoma State to Solano, what made your experience here worth it? I think it was the faculty and the facilities. The printmaking room was just amazing. It has so many different things to offer the students. So, but. What advice would you give to an art student pursuing their career here at Solano? I would advise staying here for two years and getting your AA in art, um, you know, fine art, and then going on to like a four-year college like UC Davis mm -hmm. or Sonoma State. So that's what I, that's mm -hmm. what I recommend. <laughs> well, thank you so much again, Susan, okay. and congratulations for being in the Alumni Art so Show. Mary, tell me a little bit about your experience. You've told me that you didn't really take as many classes here, but you still had a Solano experience. Yes, I did. Um, I already had an MFA um, from another school, but uh, I just came here to just take some uh, different kind of classes. Um, I took a watercolor class and um, gosh, I think that was all. But then um, I started, uh, I took an alternative photography class mm -hmm. with uh, Ron Zach and uh, actually took that twice. And also a class with Beth, um, I think it was photo two. Uh, my background was in um, film photography, so when digital came along, um, it was like this computer in your hand, so mm -hmm. um, I wasn't really embracing it too much. I also had a, a clay background, and I was doing quite a bit of clay. And um, I bought a digital camera and wasn't embracing it much, but uh, something happened one day, and I thought, you know, I need, to, I need to explore this more. So that's what got me out here. And you have a Master of Fine Arts. Where did you attend school before you came to Solano? 
Um, well, actually, it's a BFA, um, Bachelor oh, of Fine Arts, mm -hmm. um, but uh, at the California College of Arts in Oakland. My sister just graduated there. It's an amazing school. Oh. So tell me a little bit about your experience there. Well, it was a long time ago because mm -hmm. <laughs> I graduated in, well, I won't say that because I'll date it myself. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, well, they didn't have the San Francisco campus mm -hmm. when I was there. But uh, um, it was all, um, you know, this was pre-computer. Yeah. And um, it was all about fine art. And uh, that school at the time, I don't know if it's changed, was uh, nothing commercial at all. Mm -hmm. So photography was just about uh, the image and we didn't do lighting and all those kind of things. So, um, and, and the clay class was um, wonderful. They had uh, just built a new clay facility when I was attending. So, yeah, it was good. So, how would you say technology has helped and kind of disadvantaged art in a sense? I don't see any disadvantage in it at mm -hmm. all. And from an artist standpoint, I think it, um, it's opened up new avenues for many artists. Um, back in the day, you were going to either make it or break it, be a starving artist, but uh, now there's um, skills that um, uh, you know, make it more accessible for artists to, to use those. And uh, no, I think it's great. And actually, the uh, technology was what got me back into it because, um, yes, I didn't, well, technology is uh, something I love to hate because it's always uh, changing. And, and if you think about photography, it's, it's evolved and it will continue to evolve. But uh, um, once I saw what you could do with the computer and uh, images, um, um, that's what kind of sold me into getting back into it. I, I had clay and photography and I enjoyed the artist's hand in, in part of it. And the photography was not quite giving that to me. And so now I can take my images and kind of um, put my own thoughts into, because mm -hmm. I do composites. Yeah. So there are multiple uh, images put together. So yeah, I like it a lot. And how has coming to Solano, like what was your best experience here? Um, well, um, I, I, I like taking classes. I don't like reading books. Mm -hmm. um, I like the experience of being with other people and networking with other artists and seeing what other people do. Um, so I like that over um, a book. Um, and a nice facility and the instructors were great. Um, it, was, it was good. And what advice would you give to any art student trying to pursue their career in art here or any other school? Um, well, um, think about the job, you know, you might love to do a certain thing, but are you going to be able to make a living at that? Mm -hmm. You know, there's one thing about doing your own thing out there, but, uh, you know, it's hard to be an artist. Um, art isn't selling very well, and so, but if you can, you know, work for a company and still be able to use your, um, your art knowledge, then um, that's that's a big plus for you. There's there's people that can be um, know the computer, but if they don't know about art sense, I don't think they're bringing everything they can to the table when they have the job. Yeah, yeah. so it, it's good to take art classes. Well, thank you again, and congratulations for being with in the, the Solano College show. Sports Network. Joined with Melissa McCommon, who is a featured artist in the Solano College Alumni Art Show. So, Melissa, tell me a little bit about your experience here at Solano and how you got into the art program. Uh, I started in eighth grade in middle school because my counselor told me, "Did you know you could take classes at the local college?" And it went downhill from there. No. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I took classes here till 2011 when I finally graduated, or no, 2016 when I finally graduated. I graduated high school in 2011. So um, I enjoyed it here. I've made a lot of friends that I still keep in contact with to this day, and uh, the teachers here are so awesome. Uh, Mark Pandone, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I learned I learned a lot and on how to like present myself as an artist and how to like push my work so a lot of that and the occasional cool new art supply that I never heard of before <laughs> and then I have to have it <laughs>
So what inspired you as an artist and your experience being here, other than the teachers? Like, was it the connection you had with other students or the one-on-one -on -one time? I really enjoyed the community because mm -hmm. it would be once, twice, three times a week, I'd be able to come in and I would have my friends in that class. And we'd hang out and we'd swap ideas for our projects and just bounce ideas off of each other, which I can do online with some friends, but it, it's, not, it's not as good as like face-to-face. -face. Mm -hmm. So I really, I really enjoyed the community, and I think that's kind of what inspired me, is we'd, when we'd bounce off ideas, it'd be like, oh, I never thought I'd try doing that, and then I would do it, and it's cool. <laughs> so you graduated here in 2016? Yes. What, where did you end up going to pursue the rest of your career? I actually started working as a professional artist when I was actually going to school here, so mm -hmm. About three to four years before I graduated, I was already working on books and publishing mediums. Oh, and wow. um, shortly before I graduated, I actually worked on my first like big project. I colored a book for one of my friends who uh, is a world famous artist, uh, Svetlana Shmakova. She has published now it's up to 12 graphic novels worldwide translating like 12 13 different languages and she's a uh, been nominated for an Eisner twice so uh, I've been a fan of her since high school and we became friends and she just sent me an email one day and was like hey do you want to work on my next book <laughs> and so after that I worked on that book uh, awkward and then I got back for brave and I hope I get brought back for another one because mm -hmm. there's another one that's supposed to be released soon so then uh, yeah I started working before I even left the school so they prepared me for that. Mm -hmm. And what would you tell to any art student wishing to pursue their career here at Solano? Get the kits. You need those kits. <laughs> e even if you think, oh, I have all the art supplies, you need the kits. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, are, they are worth the money. And just keep working at it. I mean, it, it's college. You're going to have you're going to have lows and highs, just like anything. But just power through. It's worth it in the end. Get that shiny degree mm -hmm. to hang in your room. Well, thank you again, Melissa, and congratulations for being in the art show today. We'd like to thank the art program again for giving us the opportunity to check out another program offered here at Solano Community College. And I'm Marjani Kanderson alongside Melanie Fuller. Thanks for watching the Solano College Sports Network, your number one source for local sports. We'll see you next time. The exponential growth from the program from my first year to my third year now, that's what keeps me coming back and keeps me excited and just like fulfills me as a person. I've been taking classes here for years now, so I've never actually had a class that I enjoyed quite like this one. You no, know, I think it teaches you a lot about, conf I mean, it's confidence building to me. It's so impressive and we, we, every time we walk in here, you guys are doing something different. It's, it's great. It's great. Nothing but opportunities here and we have sports to cover, we have the equipment. Because the more ambitious you are, the more opportunities you'll have. And POF with this program lets you be as ambitious as you want and lets you express yourself the way a teacher should let you. So, like I said, it's really gratifying to us to be able to help in a way where we can see immediate results. And I think the sky's the limit really with what we can do here. Get the hands-on experience. I mean, on-the-job training is, is huge. Yeah. It's huge in this industry. Joining the class was the best decision I ever made. Cut three, cut three, hold the shot. Stand by, we're gonna go to cut one.